Hello everyone, my name is Nomus and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are picking up here shortly after our last episode. Ooh, we got a bit of a dirty set of coveralls here. I'll have to wash those soon. In the last episode, we did a burn with the ambulance. That was several days ago in real life. Uh, it was only just the other day though, in game. And actually, just after I finished recording, uh, we did have a helicopter event. Uh, that occurred while the fires were still lit and still burning. So I'm going to throw a little bit of that footage in right here. As you can see, a little bit of mayhem, but I uh, was able to keep it, for the most part, under control. I am going to be heading back down to that end of town. Back to the west end of town. We're going to search the rest of those buildings that we didn't get to. Let's just take a quick look at our generators here. It's at 100%. Uh, this one is at 11%, so let's go ahead and turn this one off. And we'll flip this one on. Looks like I've got some cabbages ready for harvest. Are all three of these ready? I think they are. Ooh, maybe, maybe, maybe we can get some more XP towards level seven. You know what? They're not at seed bearing yet. We're gonna let it go. We're gonna let it ride. We have read that book though, so we will get the full boost. Close that door. And let's get to the ambulance. It's the car we're gonna take down. Do I have bags in here? I do. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. Uh, I have two, three bags. Maybe I should get another couple. Do I have another couple? So we could put a bag on each chair. Where's our bags? Duffel bags. We got ten of them in here. Okay, well, let's grab some duffel bags. That should be... I don't will even get this much loot today, but it doesn't hurt to be prepared. Uh, before we leave, I got some food on us. I got cigarettes. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Uh, we could take this gas can with us, too. Fill it up at the gas station. Why not? All right. Everyone... Or, well, not everyone, but a fair number of you have voted in the most recent poll that I put up at the end of last weekend, asking you where you would like us to go to next. It kind of came down to two places. Rosewood and the golf course. Each got about a third of the votes. So thanks for casting your vote there. We will definitely be incorporating both those locations into some of the upcoming episodes. Today, though, we're just going to be focused on looting. Uh, you may have noticed back closer to the base, I did start moving corpses off the road. Several of you have been asking me to do that for quite some time, so slowly getting that done. Get the main road eventually all cleared out. Here's our little burned area. Nice and zombie free. We went through a lot of zombies over there. There's probably still some over here, but not nearly as many as there were. By a long shot. Okay, so we searched the bar. Let's head over here. I do have our blowtorch, our propane torch, and our welder's mask. So we could do some a dismantling of this laundromat. Uh, we have our middle working of five and we're working towards six. We have the full multiplier. And we've got uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight machines here we could dismantle. 
couple hammers. Um, hmm. Let's actually loot this other stuff first. Then we'll come back and uh, dismantle this. It'll be at the end of the Zomboid Day. A little bit of a food market here. So here we could definitely pick up some stuff for our compost bin. Let me just drop these empty bags off for a moment. There we go. Uh, all right. The, the famous 49 cent sale. Oh, and there's another sack too. We need one of those for our compost bin. Start collecting some compost. So a good find already. And we got some food. Some snacks. Some chocolate. Oh yeah, how is our weight doing? We're at 74 and climbing back up. Okay, so we do have the underweight trait again here since we dipped under 75. Uh, skills, let you guys take a look at that. Get reacquainted to where our character Gerald is currently sitting. Pick up some more rotten veggies. Yeah, oh wow, eight dollars. A whopping eight dollars. Some shortbread. Mustard. I wasn't really expecting to find edible food here. That's a nice bonus. And look at that. Even more. Rod mayonnaise. Don't think we need that. Carrots. And three more bags of chips. Good. Our water bottle. Never hurts to have more. We can cook that up and put it in the compost bin. And we have a lot of doorknobs, but we'll pick up a few more hinges. So we will start building up our second floor soon. And then this store, which should have a lot of food as well. And some premium radios. Okay, another roasting pan, we might as well take that. More cigarettes, sure. Wonder how many cigarettes we've eaten, eaten <laughs> smoked so far. Hopefully he hasn't eaten any. Uh, we'll need a corkscrew for our future bar. Uh, where is our survival time? Four months, 17 days. Four and a half months. Our meat cleaver. So he's definitely smoked a, a couple hundred cigarettes, I'd say. He's averaging probably a couple a day. And we've almost got one bag filled up. A lot of stuff in these few stores that we've waited so long to actually search. More corn. And we still have all these shelves. Okay, I think we have enough roasting pans now. Uh, we'll take corn beef. Actually, we are full now, so let's drop this off. Probably bring the car up a bit. Oh, actually, I still have loot in here that I never took out. What do you know? Put as much stuff in this bag as we can. And we'll drop it off. I've got our uh, rabbit meat and vegetable burger, uh, which has heaps and heaps of boredom and unhappiness. A couple of you have mentioned that we might need to cook the meat first before putting it into the burger. 
uh, which makes sense. So next time we cook some burgers up, we'll definitely do that. Yeah, let's get another bag here. So that other bag on the seat is filled with uh, metalworking items. So I went around and I did a lot of uh, metalworking off camera. Take that. Corn. You know what? Let's take a thing of charcoal for our charcoal barbecue. That way we don't have to worry about using uh, branches and stuff when we do our next round of burgers. And what kind of clothing do they have? Oh yeah, right. We got our corned beef and our CD player to dismantle. I don't think we've got electrical yet. No, not quite. Another 60 XP. Several more items. Baggy jeans and a t-shirt. Just double check these. I'm tempted to take one of these back with us as well. One of these small stands. So we have so many clothes back home. I'm just gonna quickly run this out to the car. Oh yeah, let's just bring the car up. So I don't have to keep running back and forth. There is still a back storage room, too. All right, so we'll put this clothes stand just in the trunk. And head back in. It is 2.50 p.m. We do need our afternoon cigarette. Let's smoke that, and I'm going to eat this rabbit burger. Hopefully I have some antidepressants on us. Yes, we do. Oh, look at that. I don't think I even noticed the uh, the burger animation last time around. So we'll chase that with the pill. Through our mask. All right, those ones are legitimately empty. We don't have a smash bottle yet. Let's grab one of those. Fill up our water. And what have we got in the storage rooms? Another lead pipe. One of several we have now. Bread knife. Our CD. Take for the future jukebox. Sardines, cigarettes. Another CD. Tomatoes. Don't really need those scissors. Although I think we can put them on uh, to a spear, can't we? Oh, and now this bag is full. Well, what else we got in here? A meat cleaver, another garden fork. Okay, so there is some good stuff to come back for. Get another bag. And this one will fit on this seat. Oh, that's actually completely full. Put our antidepressants back. Dump that on the seat. Oh, yeah, we've got to get our next bag. And we'll clear out this last back section, which is over here. All right, so more beans. We've got lots of bowls back home. We've got more bolognese, our garden fork. More cigarettes, our meat cleaver. And I want this other cooking pot, I think. We only have four. So we could use a fifth.
And that's it for this parking lot. Okay. I think we're heading back into residential areas from here. Or we could go and dismantle. Maybe we should go and dismantle. Kill a few hours here. Disassemble these. Go until like 7 o'clock maybe. 1900 hours. See what kind of parts we can get. Quite a few parts to be certain. Alright, well we got everything there. Another garbage bag. Disassemble that. Can't disassemble those. Or that. This is probably wood. Yeah. Could dismantle these. Could dismantle the shelves. But let's not. Let's just fill up our bags with some more metal sheets and the like. Yeah, a decent amount of materials. Nothing wasted. No unusable scrap metal this time. Now we got seven pieces of scrap. Really good. Alright, I know there's other like sinks and stuff around here. We won't go too crazy. Uh, I do want a mailbox though. We need a crowbar. Okay. We'll come back for a mailbox. At some point. So we're going to head up to this neighborhood up here that we have not completely finished searching. I don't know if we've been up over here. Oh no, we did go over there. That has the uh, rainbow collectors, right? So yeah, let's head up, uh, or I guess over here. Don't blow a tire. So we searched, I think all, yeah, these are burnt out houses. There's dog houses in there. We haven't searched up here though, have we? I want to try and get a uh, dog house. Unless we need a crowbar for this too. Uh, just our hammer. Twenty-two and a half percent chance of breaking. There is a second one here if this does break. And it did. Hopefully we can get this one. Oh, god damn, they both broke. We are without a doghouse. Yeah, it looks like we've been in this one. Just double check. Assemble that. And this. Pick up that scrap. We can find our bag. Awesome. And might as well fill up. And disassemble these. A deluxe shower. A few pipes. Secondary. Oh, speaking of skills, I did do some more carpentry work uh, on the second floor, and look how far we are. We're almost halfway to level eight. And uh, when we get back to base, I'll show you. I really didn't do that much. It's just 
Those walls give you so much XP so fast. So quickly. Okay, we are filled up on another bag. Let's drop this one off. And I think all of our seats will be filled. That's got stuff. Alright, this is the last one. Move our receiver over. And we'll get the hiking bag out. All right, I'm pretty sure we got to... Oh, no, maybe we didn't get to this house. We did get to those other houses down there, though. I don't know, maybe we did get to this house. The door's open. Well, there's definitely stuff to dismantle. Yeah, the TV's gone. All right, let's check for loot in these remaining houses. And then we can come back and dismantle the rest. Uh, tire, toy paper, it's empty. Maybe we have it up here. Which appears so. Yeah, okay. So be it. Expert fishing. I believe they are going to be releasing a patch. Uh, it sounds like on Monday that will be fixing fishing. And yeah, one of the uh, bugs was your uh, fishing line breaking all the time, just as we experienced. So that'll be nice to have that fixed and then we can really start stocking up on food. And that's empty. All right, get that back equipped. Okay, so from here, I think it's just the, uh, the cemetery back there. Grab the car though. We'll double check just to make sure. Uh, we will come back to the cemetery and grab some items. Uh, let's actually go down here first. Pick up like those uh, statues and some tombstones, maybe. Or no, this is where we. Is this where we were? Or no, these are just other burnt out houses, right? I'm not confusing myself, am I? I might be. Oh. Broken glass. Thought it was a, a window there. Well, we just get to uh, practice a bit more first aid. Bandage that. And you know what? Let's take off this other bandage from our thigh. Let's see if that's healed up. It is now. Good. And what do we have in here? Not much. Not much, if anything. Oh no, we've been in this place. Okay, we have searched these. Sorry, guys. Oh, did I get in the wrong side? No, I did not. Okay, let's head this way. Yeah, like there's all these uh, angel statues. I think those are pretty cool to have a base. And there's uh, a few different styles of tombstones that would be cool to to grab. Oh, and I hear a zombie.
She didn't hear us, though. Uh, well, easier said than done sometimes. And this blood splatter definitely looks like a face. Let's take a look at that in a second. We had splattered on both walls. All right, it looks like a Rorschach blot right now. Uh, before there was too much blood, it looked kind of like a face with some eyes and... <laughs> uh, trapping, metal working. I don't think we need any of that. I think we might sleep in this house. Uh, we got an intact window there with some drapes. Like we've said before, there shouldn't be too many zombies left in this area. Let's grab some pills. I think we'll dismantle items in this house and then get to bed. Yeah, so let's disassemble this. And that. Uh, let's fill up our bottle first. Disassemble. Might as well do the bathroom too. Just to be safe, we'll close that. And oh no, not the uh, cabinet. I might take another cabinet home. So the ones that we have are completely filled. All right, let's grab all these materials, and then we'll get to bed. Yeah, lots of metal sheets. That's, that's great. Okay, we are hungry. Let's eat some of our stir fry. Transfer some of these items over to our bag. So we don't need to be carrying all this stuff around in our backpack. Good. And a uh, cigarette, we need a cigarette as well. Okay, I will see you all in the morning. And might as well dismantle first thing in the morning. Grab that, and we got the TV in here too. You know what? I kind of like these old TVs, these antique ones. So let's take that back to the car. And let's take this medicine cabinet back or attempt to. See if you have better luck than the, uh, the dog houses. I think we got it that time. Antique TV. No, maybe we didn't. Okay, never mind. No luck picking up stuff today. All right, let's drop this uh, TV off. And our secondary bag is getting pretty full. I don't know, what else we carry here? Or is it just our bag that's weighing us down? It must just be our bag. All right. Uh, I guess this is the next house down here. Oh, and we do have a couple zombies, okay. So let's, oh, it's this uh, garden fork. All right, let's get that on our back. Put our ax away, put our meat cleaver away. Let's drop our bag. Equip our pitchfork. Let's 
that's our spirit. Yeah, coming up on level two. All right, so we got one house left. Ooh, there's that cop car. Oh, I remember being up here. Long, long time ago. Right? I think we were trying to get into this car, or one of these two cars. If I'm not mistaken. When we were looking for a ham radio. Dismantle that. Yeah. Okay. So let's, uh, we'll check those out. We'll probably end up hot wiring one. Try to remove this medicine cabinet. Oh, damn it. Try again. All right, we got it that time. All right, let's, uh, dismantle these. We'll come back and pick the stuff up. What's our middle working at? Out of curiosity, a third of the way. All right, let's get our bag. Let's go fill up as much as we can. Drop this off, drop the medicine cabinet off, and we'll check out the cop cars. Should be able to fit most of this stuff in. Yeah, perfect. Move our scrap over, electric wire. Okay, we are filled to the brim. That's had five bags now we filled up today. I didn't think we'd get this much loot, so it's a good thing we did bring the ambulance. So all the seats are holding stuff except for maybe the front seat except for the front seat so we'll drop this bag on the front seat and then we still have the whole trunk to fill up or most of the trunk so drop that off pick up another secondary move a few items over Uh, that's good, okay. Yeah, let's drive us down to the cop cars. We'll make another trip up to the uh, cemetery later on. So we could have two emergency vehicles. Alright, I think these were both locked though. Broken. I believe we checked all these corpses too. Looks like the cops made a last stand though. Yeah, we're gonna have to bust a window. That's fine. We'll do it. Or actually, no, we could just uh, remove a window. Car key is required to uninstall a, a window, really. Really. Never mind. We're gonna smash it. Unlock the trunk, there could be some goodies in there. We'll choose which one we want to hotwire. Nope, empty. Right, it's gonna smash this back window. Can I? Nope. 
Okay, we'll go to mechanics. There should be some new animations for um, mechanic work too coming uh, next week. Looking forward to that. We can uninstall this one. I don't know why we need the key for the other one. Let me know what I did wrong. All right, let's put this window down. Just a razor. Actually, that trunk is unlocked already. And there is a nightstick in there. Yes, we will take that. All right, so uh, I guess we well we broke that one. Let's uh, hotwire this one maybe. Yeah, they're probably all in or both in pretty crappy shape. All right, so let's try to hotwire this. Failed, but not a critical failure. That was a critical failure. And there we go. Okay, that is hot wired. Probably just out of gas. Check again. Yep. Yeah. Small gas tank. So, we do have a gas can on us. Let's siphon a bit from our car. Just a little bit. It's probably good. Put it in here so we can come back and uh, drive that one off. Uh, let's actually just get it turned around here. And this one might be a bit easier to fix up because it's just a standard. Oh, uh, we need to check the radio though. We need to check the radio. Alright, nothing on there. Let's check this other one. Nope, nothing. We have to go to a brand new area of the map for those to spawn in. The uh, emergency broadcast system. Uh, we can dismantle car wrecks now. Now that we have a decent metal working level. I might wait until we're a little bit higher though. So we can get the most out of the cars. Spencer, let's take that. Uh, we'll dismantle these cabinets first. These have been quite good for getting metal sheets. And uh, we actually got some unusable metal this time around and only scrap metal. Oh, we should be able to get uh, scrap metal from these though as well. These chairs. They're usually good at giving scrap. Yeah. Nothing though from most of them. All right, cool. I can bag. Let's eat some more of our rabbit meat and vegetable stir fry. Eat the other half. Loot. This 
dismantle these chairs or attempt to get something out of them. And we'll pick up another water dispenser for the second floor. Not sure if there's gonna be anything else in these cars. I don't think we really took a good look at them though. Ever. Let's see if they're all wrecks or if there's any parts worth taking. Yeah, there are some some decent parts in here. So regular brakes, regular suspension. Uh, the rest of it's pretty crappy though. We could get some windows, I guess. What kind of seats we got? Just standard. Tires are crap. Yeah. Let's take a look at some of these others. This one looks like it's not too bad. Regular brake, regular suspension, crappy tires, old muffler. Yeah, nothing too crazy there either. Toilet paper. Some painkillers though. Let's have a quick cigarette while we walk to the next one. Uh, not that many in here though. Got a uh, taxi, a car in the middle. It looks like that's about it. Unless there's any behind these trees we just can't see. Now again, this one doesn't look too bad. Out of all them in here, actually, this one looks the best. Regular brakes, regular suspension, crappy tires. Seems to be a running theme. Oh, that's locked as well. We're hoping for performance suspension, performance parts, large seats. I actually didn't check the last two cars for what size of seats they had. Standard, regular suspension, everything else is crap. Okay. Well, we'll come back later on to dismantle this wrecked car once maybe we have uh, level six or seven that are working. In the meantime, though, we have a fair bit of supplies just from dismantling other items. We have a cop car to come back for. And we have some more homes behind us. Oh, it's actually 31 degrees. We are quite warm here. Let's turn on the AC. So if we take this back road, this will take us to some more homes. We kind of attacked this area from the opposite side numerous episodes ago. There should still be some more homes up here that we haven't got to yet. And there will probably be some more zombies out here too. Well, I guess this is just a, a shed. Could have some more of those garden forks, though, I suppose. Or not. Carpentry. Oh, these barrels will give us some uh, uh, metalworking XP. 
I believe they give us a, a decent amount too. What, 12.33? Yeah, 20 per barrel. I'm not sure what kind of materials we could get from them. Middle sheet, I guess, okay. All right, let's get that equipped again. Fortunately, there's no crates in this place. That's where we found a lot of our garden forks. Our crates inside these buildings. Let's leave the car running. I have not seen any zombies yet. But we have an alarm. Be sticking around to dismantle. We'll just loot and move on. Oh, alarm clock. Well, we should see some zombie movement now. No one apparently very close though, because one would expect to see some zombies after a house alarm, even out in the countryside. Oh, it looks like we're out of water. Oh, look at that, another fishing rod, okay. We'll take that, because we did lose a fair amount Last time, we went out a fair amount of, oh, I still have this in our inventory, fair amount of fishing lines. So we'll take any more fishing line or fishing rods we can find. And do I hear someone? Thought I heard someone walking. Just as I was about to give up. Got in. Sparklers. Oh, no, I do hear someone. Yeah, there they are. I don't think that's what I heard before. I think I was hearing something else. to find one more cool thing today before we call it an episode. Uh, crowbar. Hmm. What did we want the crowbar for? We were trying to pick up something. That mailbox. Alright, let's pick that up then. That's right. Uh, I am going to dismantle this TV. We gotta be so close now. Within 50. We're gonna get there. Alright, I don't think. Well, there's the chicken coop back here. Suppose we should look at that. There is a crate. But it's empty. 
All right, uh, clothes are still in good condition. They're dirty as hell, but not torn, which is nice. All right, one more spot, then we're done. And I'll grab that mailbox on the way home. I do need to put this way, though. That's really tiring us out. Equip that secondary. That's half full. Yeah, we can do one more spot. One more house. Turn the AC back on. I'm sure that's not helping us with our water situation. Yeah, really, no zombies back here. That's surprising. I really thought there would be some. There's always some around buildings. Oh, and we got a, uh, a car. Which looks like it may be in very good condition. It is in quite good condition overall. Nothing really good for parts. But not that bad shape uh, overall. Don't have the sledgehammer with us, so we unfortunately won't be able to get in there. So I don't think we can dis... No, we can't dismantle that. I think I hear someone, though. It might be inside the garage. Let's just make sure no one's in the woods here. No, nope, doesn't look like it. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe they're in that garage. Alright. More fishing gear, maybe? Another sack? Okay. A little pipe. Uh, another hand axe. We will take that. And uh, you know what? We were looking for another locker. Another gun locker, so let's try and grab this. And we were successful. Good. Alright, so we got some more items for the house. More and more items. Still quite a bit of room though in the ambulance. Yeah, there they are. They were outside. matter if I can knock her down. There. Last house. I think we can call that a very successful loot run. It's going to take me a while just to unload everything. Close the window. And we should probably take another uh, small fridge for our second floor too. Oh, it looks like we got a uh, couple dead corpses. Some dead corpses, some corpses. <laughs> some former survivors. And I see some guns. Got an M9 with a magazine, so let's uh, eject the magazine there. that with us yeah what the hell we'll take the uh we'll take the m9 with us as well and what does this one have nothing okay cool well i guess that does it for another episode i hope you enjoyed lots of good loot today uh we will 
probably be doing a tour of the base uh, next episode maybe do some more base building and then uh very soon we'll be getting down to rosewood and the golf course so thanks again for tuning in hope you enjoyed and until next time i'll talk to you all later